That's for sure. The, he's not going to. Man, ruin talk his about reputation. consistent commitment. Luke Shaw's been signing. fat for eight years. Yeah, it's not his sign. The reason why he won't take the vast majority of the criticism with Sancho Ten Hag because it's not his signing. He's not mm. brought him in. He'll take the 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 most of the criticism with Anthony because it's his signing. He'll take the most mm. of the criticism of a Mason Mount. Your signing. Same way he'll get the praise of a Casemiro, mm. a Martinez, a Onana if it works out. And Onana's look good so far. That's how it works. So yeah, the. Jaden Sancho not performing well is not on the manager like that. He's not, no lot are going to look at Tanag and go, oh, that's terrible, that's on you. We're looking more mm. so at Jaden Sancho with him mm. criticising Sancho. I don't think he's like, because people have said, oh, maybe he's done it to motivate him. I just think he made a mistake. That's all mm. I think it is. I don't think he, he mm. was thinking about it consciously and was like, right, I'm going to criticise Sancho to try and get the most out of him because I've tried everything now. I think he was asked the question, yeah, he's and he answered the question it. honestly well, that's, but that's in, his, nonsense. in his mind and if, he's made a mistake with it. That's where yep, I think Because if you know the player, it. you don't criticise him publicly and think it's going to make a difference. Yeah, I don't think he's... And yeah, and I don't think that was his thinking because I've seen people say that, like, oh, did he do it to get the best out of Sancho? No. no. Sancho's not his player. I've said this before. That's it. Again. Sancho's not he his should, player. He should not like him. On, and he don't care, like you know right. them ones. That's all it is, bro. Like let's stop pretending they say now he's giving him chance because he hasn't given him chances. Not this. You know them ones. Definitely. It would no be different. It would be completely different, yeah, if he kept giving him chances and he kept underperforming, like what he's doing with Anthony. Do you know yeah. what I mean? The reason why people are fed up with Anthony is because Anthony has been given multiple, multiple, multiple oh, seen opportunities the to start, start. Yeah. and start and start and start and start and start, yeah, and he ain't done nothing. You know, like that. Mm. Yeah, and that's where that's the disconnect why. came. And that's why I said that's the, there's been a disconnect between the two because we've seen him play mm. false nine to a decent level all mm. preseason long. We get to the start of the Premier League and mm. we've seen Rashford, we've seen Martial and we've seen Hoyland all start ahead of him. So how do you go from first mm. choice and being in contention all, all preseason to then we start the season and you don't even get an opportunity to play as a false nine. There's been a disconnect, mm. whatever the disconnect may be. Jaden Sancho, once he leaves the club, will probably come out and do an interview and state, look, this is what happened between us. Because even the statement mm. Sancho made wasn't solely in response to what Ten Hag has said. He said, I've been scapegoating mm. for weeks. That's mm. not just what Ten Hag stated. I under I'm unsure as to what it is but something has gone on and yeah Ten Hag is definitely at fault you know what I'm saying like I've said that I've backed Ten Hag I think but there the you go and this is it like Ten Hag yeah didn't publicly criticise Maguire yeah mm. and it's clear that he don't rate him as a player bro yeah. do you know what I mean so he didn't need to throw Sancho under the bus he didn't have to criticise him no he just he, made a he mistake he didn't need to opinion. it wasn't even criticising him no no he didn't criticise him he threw him under the bus criticising someone yeah is after the game, if they do something wrong and you just mm. say, oh, you know what? Like, he knows he should do better or yeah. he should be doing better there. Or even to the worst extent of when Harry Redknapp said, oh, my wife would have scored that. That's yeah, criticising that's someone. Yeah, that was crazy. That was but crazy, that's criticising yeah. someone. What he done, yeah, was he threw man under the bus after man lost a game that he didn't even feature in. Yeah. You know, like that. And he turned yeah. the whole attention, yeah, of the game to one player. That's throwing a man under the bus. That's not no criticising. And that's and and yeah, and that's why I said he got it wrong and he shouldn't have done that. And they will, they would have spoken about it. That's why I think um, Sancho took the tweet down because I think they've had the conversation about it. Will he play mm. again? Yes, I think he will play again. Will Sancho mm. be a success? Yeah, I've said this. No, I don't think he will be successful here. I think he's a supremely mm. talented player, and I think once he moves on, we'll see the best of him. But mm. you just won't see the best of him here. He said, centrally, could he have some success? That's why I was looking forward to watching him play in the false nine role. But it doesn't mm. seem now he's going to get the opportunity. Maybe with the Anthony situation, leave of absence, he does play right-hand side. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm trying to say. And and the thing is, man said, um, someone said, is there a dimension where simply Ten Hag told the truth? Potential. But yeah, go on. You respond to may, may, go may, on. Maybe. But then even if he did tell the truth, yeah, he still dealt with it wrong. Yeah. Like there's no why. there's no realm, yeah. yeah, in which he dealt with it right, bro. Because right. say for instance, in some weird way, because first it was he wasn't training well, and then it was oh yeah, he was late. Which one is it? Mm. You know, like mm. that. Which which yeah. one is it? Do you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Firstly, and secondly, yeah, if that's the case, yeah, and we're dropping players from squads because they're not training well, why don't you stop dropping players from squads, yeah, because they're not playing well? From what, because there's yeah. loads of players this season what? in matches are not playing well, so why are you not dropping them? Yeah, you go down that road. And yeah, to new perspective, I stated that in regards to is there a dimension. That's why I'm not 
siding with Sancho. That's why I'm not siding with Ten Hag because we simply don't know. I said that from the jump. I said it on this very show at the start. I said, we don't know if he's training well or not. It's one man's word against the other. That's why I never picked a side. What I will say mm. is, I agree with Rance on that. Ten Hag shouldn't have said it publicly. That's my mm. biggest issue. Because now this is a conversation because of what Ten Hag has stated. And, have and to now say it's not even a conversation. Reasons. It's a witch hunt now because everyone's mm. taking their turn here mm. to kick my man while he's down now. And this, and bro, you got to realise, remember, the reason, when I started to realise what kind of character Sanch was yeah was after the England thing when the man missed the penalties yeah he just mm -hmm. deactivated his Instagram and just said bond this blood yeah which is right you That's know like, that because he said listen I'm not even dealing with this bro let me mm -hmm. just live my life in it you know right. like that that's all it is. So you can tell that he's a brother that just wants to be left alone. So the fact that he put himself out there yeah and even replied yeah knowing that there was gonna be a backlash mm -hmm. that's how you know that he feels like he's been wronged in it. Do you know what I'm saying? And because I know the crap that goes on at football clubs, I'm not willing to side with the manager on this. Not at all, blood. Yeah. Not and at all, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Because we've seen this a million times, yeah. bro. And someone said, he see us. I don't know what CR7 said about the manager. I'll be real. I don't know what he said about his man management. I have yeah, no and in idea. Regards to, and in regards to the man management, I can't say he lacks a certain level because m mm. all managers, even if they're the best at man management, are mm. going to get things wrong. You are going yep. to not get along with players. You are going to... I think he handled mm. the Cristiano Ronaldo situation fantastically mm. from a man managed standpoint. He didn't jump in straight away and get rid of him and kick up a force. He gave Ronaldo enough mm. rope to hang himself. Very similar with Harry Maguire. Very mm. similar with David De Gea. They are instances where the manager's man management skills have been good. Is he going to get it wrong? Yes, you're dealing with 25 players, 25 mm. different personalities. You are going to clash with some. You are going to get things wrong. The best mm. thing to do, limit it. This Sancho one is the first one I look at and go, nah, that's not it. But I look at yeah. Maguire, Ronaldo, Sancho dropping Rashford, Ganacho when he's mentioned it. Got them all right. I have no issue with the, the manager overall. I trust yeah. his management overall. But is he going to get things wrong? Yes, yeah, same way good Every players are going to perform poorly. Wrong. Yeah, good 100%. managers. I mean, good players are going to perform poorly from time to time. That will happen. Sure. And this, he said, um, he dealt with it wrong. Fine, I agree. But if Sancho doesn't show commitment, Consistent commitment, not even you would let him ruin your reputation. But here's the thing, again, what do you mean? Like you are speculating when you're saying consistent commitment. Because again, remember the same thing happened with Anthony Martial when people were trying to um, make that. Martial the villain, yeah? Even mm -hmm. though Jose bought Alexis, yeah? When Sa when Martial was playing well, took mm -hmm. his shirt off his back. He, he'd been treated badly by the club. Forget about the injuries, yeah? Martial was treated very badly by Jose Mourinho and the football club. And everyone seemed to think that, oh, because he was withdrawn and stuff and that is his fault. Bro, you were abusing this guy. Do you know what I mean? Don't tell me that this club never promised Sancho everything, brought him here because he had he had choices. He didn't need to come here. Man. They brought him here. They, they, they promised him the number seven shirt, which they then gave to CR7, yeah, from Cavani and then gave to Mason Mount even though he was at the club. And I'm sure that's not the only promise that he, he was given that, that didn't materialise, bruv. You man don't know what's going on. And a man just talking, like saying is. that, and then saying he's not showing commitment. Bro, he was our best player in pre-season. And speculation in regards to him um, doesn't show consistent com commitment. New perspective. What is that, number one? And number two, if the manager plays Jadon Sancho and Jadon Sancho does not perform to a certain level. Well, the manager mm. takes some of the criticism, yes, but mm. Jadon Sancho will take the majority of the criticism. That's for sure. Not, he's not going to man talk about consistent commitment. It's, it's Luke Shaw's been fat for eight years. Yeah, it's not his sign. The reason why he won't take the vast majority of the criticism with Sancho, turn high, because it's not his signing. He's not mm. brought him in. He'll take the, the, the most of the criticism with Anthony because it's his signing. He'll take the most mm. of the criticism of a Mason Mount, your signing. Same way he'll get the praise of a Casemiro, mm. a Martinez, a Onana if it works out, and Onana's look good so far. That's how it works. So yeah, the Jaden Sancho not performing well is not on the manager like that. He's not, no longer going to look at Tanaka and go, that's terrible, that's on you. We're looking more mm. so at Jaden Sancho. 100%. And this comment, he said, this is why Sancho shouldn't have put the tweet out. No tweet, no rumours. Said you have to be smart, don't bite the hand that feeds you. I don't agree at all. At the end of the, at the, yeah, end of the day, as a human being, if you feel like you're being unfairly attacked or victimised, you have the right to stand up for yourself. 
Stand up for yourself. Nobody, you are open to being critiqued wherever you critique. Facts. Ten Hag critiqued him publicly. Therefore, he's well within his right to, to um, critique back. And when you say when you're in a weak position, Sancho's not in a weak position. Sancho leaves Manchester United. Cool. Like, what are we talking about? Don't let your job position, and I use that in quotation marks, dictate you to you standing up for yourself or not. Like, Sancho's going to be fine regardless. Whether he stays at Manchester United, leaves, whether he plays or whether he does not play. Because even mm -hmm. if he was banging in goals and performing well, I would still tell him to respond. Don't let somebody lie yeah. on your name. I wouldn't let somebody. That's just me personally. That's why I've not criticised Sancho, because I would have done the exact same thing. Mm. And, and, this, and this is what I'm trying to say, bro. So it's like, this is my problem. Because the manager's been so inconsistent, yeah, with... Or how he's dealt with mm. players because we knew he wanted De Gea out. Do you know what I'm saying? But he didn't throw him under the bus. We yeah, knew he that he wanted that. Maguire out. He took the armband off him, but he didn't throw S him under the bus. Smart with that as well. I think he was smart with both of them. You see what I'm trying to say? So he's shown that he can do the diplomatic thing. Yeah. Do you know I'd what I mean? Smart. He's shown that he can do that. Mm. Yeah, be smart with it. But with the Sancho thing, he decides to be. Yeah, like I said, Sancho's the first one I look at from a public standpoint and when he got it wrong. And they're saying he it. lied to Ronaldo. Of course he lied to Ronaldo, blood. Like, because he knew that Ronaldo... Um, he knew that Ronaldo was a big a big influential player in the dressing room and he couldn't afford an unhappy Ronaldo in the dressing room. So he probably lied to him just to keep him yeah. happy before he could throw him out. Yeah, you know, like that. Like, yeah. And 100%. he dealt with that situation perfectly because after Ronaldo left, we got better people. People forget mm. that. The Ronaldo yeah. situation. Forget how Manchester United look now. At mm. that point... Everybody was playing. Everybody had improved individually, bar Ronaldo, and we mm. got better after he left. Even with a Vercors coming into the side, the team got better. Remember the amount of good results he was getting. There's a reason mm -hmm. for that. Winning a trophy, having the second best um, home record in the Premier League. Is there still levels to go? Yes, but let's not act like the way he dealt with Ronaldo was wrong. No, he dealt with Ronaldo correctly, and you know this mm -hmm. by how, where Ronaldo ended up. There's a reason he went Saudi Arabia. There was mm -hmm. no top European clubs in for Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. You had the Burnley manager on TV say he was in the championship at the time. Now, nah, I wouldn't take him. Cameron? This is it. So, yes, he probably did lie to um, Ronaldo. He probably did. Do you know what I'm saying? That was his way of manipulating the situation. Yeah, you know what? It probably would have... Ronaldo probably would have respected him more as a man, yeah? If he said to him, listen, uh, you're not going to play for me, innit? Like, I don't rate your thing. But at the same time, Ronaldo would have still kicked off anyway, regardless. Yeah, he would, because Ronaldo didn't... The thing is... He was utilising Ronaldo the best. Ronaldo off the bench was the way forward. It was the, mm. the best games we've seen of Ronaldo during that time period under Ten Hag when he came mm. off the bench, if I remember correctly. He came off the bench against Arsenal, I think, when we beat them at Old Trafford and was involved in the third goal. He scored the winner um, away at Everton coming off the bench because I believe Martial got injured and it was a good goal. They're mm. his two best performances and there's probably more. Ronaldo off the bench made sense. It You're made looking a lot of sense, especially sense. at his age and that. But yeah. Ronaldo thought... He could start that he week was week better out. than yeah he thought he was better than that. Mm -hmm. Do you know it what turns I'm saying? Out That's what I'm saying. And 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 this is what it is. So, bro, we don't even know. And this is the thing: like Sancho hasn't been given the chance that Anthony's had. He hasn't. No, in terms of set, saying? like set get week in week out, play no. week in week out he in hasn't. the same position. That's he fair. has not, bro. That's like, fair. That's the only way yeah, where you can really, really tell. Do you know what I mean? And even when you look at Mesa Mount as well, yeah, we've seen from Mesa Mount start to Man United, yeah, that like the manager sees him as a starter, in it. Yeah. Like you can see it because he starts him and he's been he's poor in every first. game, in it. But you can see team. that in the manager's head that he's a starter. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you know what I'm saying? And anyone that's played football at any level, yeah, knows, yeah, that you see when you you're at a team and you know, yeah, that. Even if you don't play well or whatever, you know that, yo, I'm the winger for this team, bro. Like, mm -hmm. there's a certain level of performance you're going to play. Um, there's a certain level you're going to play at when you when you know that. I said the same thing with even, what's his name? Yeah. When Oli brought in Agalo, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, Agalo was never, they brought him in, but he was never, he'd never played in a Man United team yet, up front yet with the first team he was always in a team that we made about yeah, seven eight changes yeah, he's Do you know what i mean same with donny van der beek as well playing him in teams where there's seven eight man changes and then if man don't play well then it's all like oh well like you didn't take your chance but that's not a chance 
Yeah, it's not. It's not fair. You still have to um, perform to a certain level, but it's not giving you the best opportunity to succeed. So I see both sides. Yeah, yeah with the bro, it's, it's not a chance, situation. bro. You know, like that. And the thing is, when you're in the position where you know, yeah, that if you don't play well, you're probably gonna get dropped, even though other men aren't. Like a Sancho, no, like a Rashford or like a Bruno. Do you know what I mean? Or Anthony. Bro, it's a different yeah, ball nice. game, blood. Man, them yeah. know, yeah, when you're not getting treated, yeah. Fairly. The same way that everyone else is getting treated. You know, blood. Like, you know. You know, yeah. like that. Because man saying, no, oh, Sancho shouldn't reply. No, listen, if you chat shit about me publicly, I have the right to reply, blood, as a yes. man. Because what makes you better than me as another man? Yeah, to be, chat to be yeah, chatting my name and I can't say it. nothing. That's crazy. And it's nothing to do. We have heard, seen people say, "Oh, it's because he's high-profile player and he plays for Manchester United." Or he's paid. Doesn't matter if he's paid three hundred and fifty k a week. Doesn't mm. matter if it's three hundred and fifty pound a week. Doesn't matter if it's three pound fifty a week. If you are, if you critique me publicly, mm. I can critique back publicly. There's nothing mm. wrong with what people can call it unprofessional. Call me unprofessional. Couldn't care less about being unprofessional. Mm. Why is no one calling the manager unprofessional for doing what he did? 